All right, next pro tip that I wanna cover is how to quickly access your ribbon controls using something called Alt Key Tips. And just like our control shortcuts, this is a great way to efficiently navigate through your workbooks and worksheets. So how this works, basically you press and release the Alt key to activate ribbon shortcuts, kind of like this. Now what this does is allows you to access or navigate through any of those menu options using simple keystrokes without even touching your mouse. So as you might imagine, there are hundreds and hundreds of different Alt key tips because you can essentially access any tool in the entire Excel application from any workbook menu. So I'm gonna share with you the ones that I use most frequently. And what I'd suggest is that you think about, you know, the three or four tools that you use on a regular basis most frequently, learn the alt key tips for those tools and commit those to memory. There's no way you're gonna memorize dozens or hundreds of these alt key tips, but even just learning a handful are really gonna help you work more efficiently. So let me give you an example of one of my favorites the paste special as values key tip, alt H V V. So continuing with this visual here, by simply pressing and releasing the alt key, Excel has displayed these keystrokes that will allow me to drill deeper into the ribbon. So if I press H after the alt key, that's gonna drill me into the home tab. And as you can see, it now displays a completely new set of keystrokes to drill even deeper. So from here, if I press V, that's gonna drill me into my paste menu. And then finally within that paste menu, one more keystroke of the letter V and I've got my paste special as values. And this may seem like a lot of work, may seem like a lot to memorize, but trust me, it's a muscle memory thing. Once you've done it a few times, you'll find yourself doing it almost automatically like second nature. So that's paste special as values, Alt H V V. Some of the other ones that I personally use quite a bit Alt A T will add or remove filters from a range. Alt H E F will clear any formatting and Alt N V inserts a pivot table. Now, if you're a Mac user, I've got bad news for you. At this point in time, Alt key tips are not available for Mac. So this is a PC only uh, Windows option. Now common use cases, again, really it just comes down to quickly accessing tools or commands that would normally require multiple clicks like that paste special example. So let's jump into our pro tip workbook and practice some of these alt key tip shortcuts. All right, so here I am in the second blue productivity tab, the control and alt shortcut worksheet. And as you can see here, I've got a range of values. I've got some headers in row one, but I don't have filters on those headers. So first thing I wanna show you is how I could use alt key tips to quickly add those headers. Now, one option is to actually manually click the data ribbon and select filter here. Um, another option is the control key tip, which is Alt A T. And what that's done is simply apply the filters right there to row one. So let's do that again a little bit slower so you can see what's happening. I press Alt, it displays my key tips to drill down one level deeper into my main tabs. I know that I want the filter option in my data tab so pressing A drills me into my data tab options. And then from within the data tab, my filter tool is labeled with a T. So pressing T activates that option. In this case, I already had my filters applied, so it simply removes them. But going the other direction, Alt A T adds them to that row. So again, you can access virtually any tool in the Excel ribbon using these Alt shortcuts. Now to give you a second example, let's scroll to the right here. We've got some metrics with our movie titles. We've got revenue, budget, and profit. And you'll notice here in column P, these profit values are calculated by simply subtracting the budget from the gross revenue value. And if we wanted to hard code these values, turn them from formulas into raw values, we would need to use the paste special as values option. Again, the manual approach would be home, copy, paste special as values. In this case, the alt key tip is gonna make that process quite a bit faster. So I can select the entire column P, control C to copy all those values. And then you remember that shortcut, alt H V V. And all of a sudden now I've got raw values 
no longer formulas here in this column. So doing that without having to even touch my mouse uh, made it a lot faster and a lot easier, especially because that's a command that I use quite a bit. And now from here, let's say I want to actually analyze and explore some of this data using a pivot table, which is hands down one of my favorite tools in Excel for exploring information. You could navigate manually to the insert tab, click pivot table, or you could use the alt N V option to accomplish the exact same thing. Press OK and you've created a new worksheet with your pivot table based on that data. Now we don't need this pivot at this point, so let's right click and delete that tab. Now I've said this before, but there are often many approaches to solve the same problem or accomplish the same task in Excel. And I'm going to show you one more example, and that's formatting this range as a table. And in fact, there are about three different ways uh, that we can do that. Uh, for one, we can navigate to the Home tab with some cell in our range selected. And we can use the Format as Table option and simply choose a table format to insert it. I'm going to press Cancel there, but that's option one. Option two, you can use an Alt key tip, in this case, Alt H T to do the same thing. Press Enter to actually insert the table itself. And then the last option, you could use a control shortcut here. Simply use control T and get to the same place. So that's a good example of three different ways to arrive at the same solution. And there you have it. So again, think about the most common tools and techniques that you use in Excel, learn those alt key tips and really practice using them until they're committed to memory. It will save you a ton of time and help you work more efficiently in Excel.